Hey guys, this is the Cuper part of Magic Cupers, and today I'm going to show you how to solve the Mega Minx. Okay, so I gave this a nice good scramble, and we're ready to start. So, the first thing that you need to do is find the white star. It is a star on a Mega Minx instead of a cross, so let's go ahead and do that. Here's blue. So there we go, the star is solved. Now what we're going to be moving on is with the first five F12 pairs. Now in this cube it's pretty much a ton of F12. It's just all F12. And then the last layer is not F12, of course. But if you do not know uh, F12, then I recommend you go and click that card or that annotation that will bring you to the video that I posted on Tuesday. Uh, and it shows a few beginners F12 uh, tips. So let's get started. Um, so I see this corner here first, so I'll just put it above where it needs to go, and here's the edge, let me just pair it up, and then can sledgehammer it in there, there's the first F2L pair, and here, uh, let's find the edge, here it is. Put it up here so that it's an easy insert. And I can just take this corner out and put it over here, and then it's another easy insert. And this goes here, so I can just do you prime two. And now the last one, let's see, where's the edge? Here it is. It's another one of these pieces. And there you go. You should have a Mega Minx that looks kind of like this. After that, you move on to solving these Vs, which is just like inserting an edge like right here and then solving an F2L pair right here so in this case since this edge is already done then we're going to solve that and so let's find the blue pink and red corner let's see blue pink and red Corner. Here it is, and then let's bring that up to the top layer, and then red and pink. That's right here, so we can just easily pair that up. Now, you can either insert it by doing that, or you could just do a sledgehammer that has two moves. Bring it down, three moves, uh, like that. And now we go to the one next to it on the right. I think that putting it on the right is easier. You could go to the left, but I'm going to do the right. So here's this red and bright yellow edge. I can just insert that there. Now I need to find the green, red, and bright yellow edge. Let's see. Here it is right here. So I can bring this to the top layer. Bring it over here. And now find the green and bright yellow edge. And it. 
Okay, recognition on this thing. Uh, I'm not very good at it. So, uh, here we go. It's right here. And I can, again, just hide that. Place that in there. And you can also have, like, F12 uh, sledgehammer like this. If you have a case like that. And now, for the blue, green, and purple, the... There's the green and blue edge, and the corner is right there, and the edge is right there conveniently. So I can just take the edge and do that, and then sledgehammer it in. And now the orange, purple, and dark yellow. So where's the orange and purple edge? Let's see. Here it is. Just bring it up and insert it there. Now, orange, uh, purple, and dark yellow corner. It's right here. And the edge is right here, so I can just do that. And then do a sledgehammer. I prefer doing sledgehammers. You can do whatever you want. But uh, so here's this green and yellow edge which goes right here it, I can't just do that because it would be swapped so I can just go like that and then push it over here insert it and take this one and put it back so it's solved now we need to find the blue yellow green corner and it's in here so I can just take that out now blue and green, it's right here. I can just easy insert, but it would normally be a sledgehammer, but if I did that, then it would mess up this V, so I need to move this V out of the way, and then sledgehammer it in, and put this V back. So now we are on to our last five F2L pairs, which is here, 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 here and here. So let's just go ahead and start with this pair. It goes in here. Purple is facing up. So the edge is over here. Let's see if I can just do that. I can do sexy move times two. Move it over here. It'll cooperate and then just easy insert. So this is where the algorithms come in. Well, you, first you have to get the star uh, oriented. So you take uh, one unsolved thing, uh, edge in front of you and one solved one right there and then you do F R U R prime U prime F prime and that will create this arrow and you want to hold the arrow like this so that it's facing to the right and then do that algorithm again F R U R prime U F prime and now that all of your star is oriented, you turn it so that uh, most of them, the most amount is permuted. And this is what you're looking for, two next to each other. And there could be like... Uh, one right here and then one right up here that are solved and all the rest need to be cycled but this in this case it is the easiest all that you do is uh, pretty much the soon case so r u r prime u r u prime to now you have to make sure you do u prime to because since there are five sides, then it will not come back in to this slot. 
And now what that did was it rotated all of these around. And so we need to do it again. R U R prime U R U two prime R prime. And there you go, that permuted all of the edges. And so now what we're going to do is orient all of the corners. So how we orient them is we turn it so that the uh, gray center is on the left and then do a U move with an unoriented corner and then just just do a bunch of sexy moves until it gets oriented again and that did so you bring this corner down now and then do as many as you need it's oriented you bring this corner down as many as you need it's oriented and it's oriented now if you did that correctly then you will always have the rest of the Mega Minx solved and the whole face solved as well now this part is when we permute the corners so we need to switch around all these corners now you do pretty much the same thing you put this on the left you do sexy move you see what corner this goes or where, where this corner goes goes right here and then to place it there you do reverse sexy move and this corner goes right here so now you're gonna do sexy move again and this corner goes right here reverse sexy move sexy move again and then reverse and that is all that you need to know to uh, solve the Mega Minx. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it helped you a lot in solving the Mega Minx. Uh, if it did, then go ahead and give this a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Comment below what the uh, some upcoming videos you want to see. And, of course, have a great day. Bye, guys.